Well, building further on, let's say, the phase two studies in the relapse refractory setting, the phase three trials in earlier relapse, then of course the question is, how can we integrate CAR T cells in the first line treatment? So um, a big advantage would be like um, that um, one infusion of a CAR T product can replace a long time, long term, sometimes uh, for years, uh, drug based treatment. Um, so that's, for instance, being addressed in Cartitude 5 for the elderly patients, uh, where VRD treatment is compared with uh, CAR T treatment. For the transplant eligible patients, um, one could challenge uh, the autograft. It's a standard of care now for several decades. It's been uh, challenged in several trials, but uh, for the time being, it remains an important part of the first line treatment for a significant group of myeloma patients, let's say for all patients who are fit enough up to the age of 70 years. Now, um, one study that will um, challenge the uh, autograft is the CARTITUDE 6 study where patients will receive induction with VRD plus daratumumab. So that's an optimal induction. And then uh, they will be randomized between either the high dose malfalan, so the traditional approach or the infusion of Silta cell. The study is in the process of being started. We believe this is a very important uh, study. It will be, let's say, um, a pivotal trial uh, because basically it's the first that um, uh, challenges a, a high dose malfalan by a CAR T product. But of course, the study still needs to start. So we will have to wait probably a couple of years because uh, we can draw any conclusion.